back into this one when the Blues led 1-0 on a power play, and they'll get another opportunity now. Paul Cavallini goes off two minutes for holding. Detroit's lone goal coming on the power play. They're one for three tonight. Cavallini doing everything he can in front of the net. Fedorov is there. Along with Iserman. And he gets nailed for holding. Blues will be a man short. Face off to the right of Vincent Riendo. Iserman up front. With Fedorov and Miller. Get it back on the point to chase on. Left wing to Iserman to chase on. And it comes outside the line. Here's Chase on at center ice. Drills it in around the boards. Eisenman on left wing. In traffic in the corner. Butcher there. Plays one to the far side. And Dave Lowry. He flips it down the ice. Good hustle by Lowry. And the Red Wings skate back. Blues lead 3-1 here in game seven. Chase on to center ice for the Red Wings. Hits the St. Louis line, dumps it behind the goal, but Sutter gets to it first. Whacks it around the boards, and Racine can't hold it in. It goes down the ice. A minute 15 left in the Blues penalty. Now Chase on at his own line. Up on right wing at center ice for Racine. Drills it in. Around the boards. Now in the far corner, Stevens stole it. Can't clear it by Chase on. Here's Chase on right point. Lost it, and Stevens poked it away again. Better off at his own line for the Red Wings. Better off, makes some moves. Hits the line, a shot, blocked. And Stevens behind the Blues goal. Shoots it around the boards. McCrimmon kept it in a great play. Now to Better off near side, centers it. And Eisenman missed the tip in, and Mahar whacks it down the ice. Now half a minute left in Paul Cavalini's minor. Red Wings, McCrimmon in behind his own goal. He skates the puck to center ice. Long dump in around the boards. Comes in front. Over to drive, and that goes high. And then a Red Wing player, Burr, runs right over Riendo. And that will be a penalty as Burr really ran Riendo over. Marowa was right there after the play. Probert will take the shot. It goes over the net. The action is in front of the net. I don't know if maybe Burr got, didn't get hit by the puck. But he toppled over Riendo. And that's where the penalty's from. That's what he may be arguing. He got hit from the puck. You can't really see it on the replay. Nonetheless, the Blues do a great job of killing off the Detroit power play. And now Burr going off for interference. 6.04. 12 seconds remain on the penalty to Paul Cavallini. Teams will skate at four aside for 12 seconds. As a former player, Bruce, I, explain to me the mentality of running over a goalie with 13 minutes left in a hockey game. Well, you do anything, and maybe the goaltender change might help you. John, I'm going to stick up for Burr a little bit. Maybe we have a better angle here. We do. He's cross-checked a little bit into Griendo, and then he gets hit by the puck. So we'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Well, you're right. He did get pushed in a bit. He goes off for interference. And for Brian Murray, is another series slipping away. Yes, it is. The Blues lead at 3-1 with 13.56 left. Still a lot of time. Each team a man short, but the Blues will get a power play in 10 seconds. Brown behind his own goal. He'll wait back there. And Paul Cavani jumps out of the box. And the Blues on their fourth power play. A goal here would nearly shut the door on the Red Wings. Stevens to center. Shoots it in. The Crimin back. Gets it ahead. Held in by Stevens. Now to the corner. Tomlinson there. 2 out. Back to Stevens. Let's it go. Hit the goal. Huge bullet there. Now the Blues to center. Oats for Stevens. Into Brown on right wing. Hooked up. Dallas for the Red Wings. He'll clear it to center ice. And down the ice. Oats after it. Miller on him. Oats there. Left it. Fedorov in. Picks it up. Here's Fedorov. Into the corner. Behind the goal. Now Fedorov far side. 
And he'll play it back to center. 50 seconds left in the Blues power play. Green flips it in. 12.40 left in regulation. The Blues lead 3-1. Here's Brown behind the Blues goal. Up on right wing to Oates. Oates to center. Now to Brown across the line. Right wing to Dave Tomlinson. Tomlinson to Hall. Back to Brown. Now to Paul Cavallini. Left wing for Oates. Back to Cavallini. That shot just wide. Oates centers it. Or rather Hall. And it's tipped away by the Red Wings. And cleared down the ice by Fedorov. A dozen seconds left in Burr's minor. Now Paul Cavalini at center ice to Quinn. Quinn across the Red Wing line on right wing. Quinn throws it toward the goal. A stick saved by Shovel Day. And now Burr back on the Red Wings at full strength. Here's Brindamore near corner. Right wing to Quinn. A shot! And he just missed the far side. Held in by Paul Cavalini. And Brindamore tipped that wide. Now the Blues attack again. Rod Brindamore on right wing. The Quinn puts it right through the goal crease. Then Burr on right wing for the Red Wings. Flips it back to center. Then it goes down the ice. No icing here. Butcher back there. And he plays it down the ice. 11.25 left. Third period. The Blues lead 3-1. Marsh for Detroit. The pro at center ice. The primo across the line. Beats Mirwa. And Featherstone got back and hooked him. And a penalty called on Featherstone. Oh, boy, the fans like that one but he'll go off this is st louis blues hockey keith primo former number one draft pick a big kid goes around marwa marwa hooks him pulled down and marwa goes off for hooking at 849 detroit goes back on the power play they're one for four tonight but they trail 3-1 11 11 left in regulation time that big goal again in the third period at 159 Sutter from Lowry and Paul Cavallini. Face off right of Riendo. The Wings get the draw chase on left point. Lost it. And Mahar clears it. And it goes down the ice. Shovel Day out to play it. Back for Mark Habscheid, who has been used very little in this game. Habscheid at center ice for Iserman. Gets across center, drills it in. Far side, Red Wings get a chase on. Across to Habshide, back to chase on. Now for Habshide. To chase on, into the near corner for Eisenman. Out top to Habshide, to chase on. Back to Habshide on the left point. On this Red Wing power play, chase on a shot. And it's kept just wide by Miller. Held in by the Red Wings. But now Butcher gets it. Can't clear it by chase on. He held it in left point behind the goal, Eisenman. Butcher knocked down. Red Wings play it back on the point, and it goes down the ice. Shovel Day a pass to center. Exactly a minute left, and there was Miner. Chase on at his own line for Detroit. Across to Habshide, back for Steve. Chase on. Now to Miller, broken up by Bassett. Cleared away. Habshide will try and dump it in. Blocked by Sutter. And Scott Stevens slams it down the ice. Great penalty killing by the Blues. Now 35 seconds left in Marois minor. Iserman in his own zone for Detroit. That center ice to Burr. In on left wing, a shot, a pass saved by Riendo. And Paul Cavani puts it back to center, knocked down with a high stick by the Red Wings. And that brings about a whistle from Terry Gregson. Masterful job by the Blues penalty killing units. Big credit here as they lead 3-1. 22 seconds remain on Marois penalties. You can score big savings right now during Metro Lighting Spring Decorating Sale. Save 20 to 50 percent on a huge selection of lighting fixtures at all six Metro Lighting locations. 9:33 left and time now on the blue side. A big collision behind, and Garth Butcher puts on a pretty good acting job here. He knew he was going to get interfered, so he, I think he took a little dive. John, good job by Garth Butcher, though he has played very well. And you can see why Ron Caron went after the veteran defenseman Garth Butcher. Face off to the left of Chevel Day. 20 seconds left in the loose penalty. The puck to center. And Butcher shoots it right in. Racine for Detroit. A dozen seconds left in the Red Wing power play. Now Racine at center to Probert into the blue zone. But McDougal was pushed in across the line offside. 
I want to continue that story on Billy McDougal. Last year, he spent most of the year in Erie in the East Coast League. He had 80 goals in 57 games, 148 total points before getting called up to Adirondack, where he had 10 goals in 11 games. I mentioned three years ago, he was playing senior hockey in Newfoundland. It's quite a story. Playing in the seventh game, I go back to Coach Brian Murray. Five changes in the lineup. You bring in two guys who haven't even played in this series. Go with seven defensemen. You've got to question the strategy. Well, he was going with experience. Now the wings dump it in a bad hop. Then shoot Chuck put it wide. Now Marois back on a long shot by Racine. Glove down. And Riendo covers up. He bobbled the shot for a minute, but he holds on. The Blues plays 3-1. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Now the Blues Scott Stevens had a chance to ice this one. He took the shot. A long shot from just inside the blue line. Good low shot. He beats Chevelday, but he hits the post. That was while the Blues were on the power play. Blues still lead 3-1 with 9.06 remaining. Blues out shooting Detroit 6-3 in this period. Face off right of Riendo. Fetter off. Up front, Chuchuk and Burr, the wingers. Oates, and Tomlinson on the ice. The Blues control. Tomlinson can't clear a shot by Chuchuk. On goal, but Riendo handled that. And back is Brown to center ice for the Blues. Brown along, dumping. Ends up behind the goal. Here's Racine. Long pass. Goes on goal. Riendo will play it ahead, but Tomlinson picks it up. Clears it near the line. Not out. Stevens for the Blues behind his net. Gets it to the near side. Hull is there with Oates. Hull held up. Probert kept it in. In front. For a shot. And a skate save by Riendo. And then Probert runs into Jeff Brown. As a break in the action, ought to be a great time to break for the great taste of Bud Light. It's a big hit with fans everywhere because everything else is just a light. And the clock doesn't move very quickly, does it, this time of the game? No, it's like a, the sand through an hourglass, as they like to say. Oh, you're smooth. Right, 8.24 remaining. Blues with a 3-1 lead. Quinn, Hull, and Sutter have gotten the goals. He's Racine on a power play, the lone goal for the Detroit Red Wings. Face off to the right of Vinny Riendo, who's played well, though only 16 shots his way. He has been there to make the save. Now face offs even become more important. Well, this draw won by the Blues. Can't clear it, though. Green left point. Gets it to the corner. Now Riendo knocked it away. Up to Gino Cavalini, knocked down by Probert. Oh, and Paul Cavalini came over and poked it away to center. Zombo flips it back in. Dan Quinn behind the goal. Here's Quinn in traffic. Knocked down. Primo centers it. Brindamore there to break it up. And Paul Cavalini kicks the puck ahead and shoots it in. Shovel day. Shovels it ahead on left wing. And it rolls to center. Quinn back to Butcher in his own line. He fell down. Carson has a breakaway. Shoots. He scores. Carson. And the Red Wings are not dead yet. On a fluke goal, Butcher fell down. And Carson scores to make it 3-2. 12-27 is the time. Jimmy Carson with his second goal. It's one of those things. Butcher just falls down and allows Carson to come in all alone. He goes through Riendo's legs. Brings the Red Wings back to within one. These fans appreciate what the Blues have done. They're still with them. John, the Blues have still got the lead. Obviously, it's not a time to panic. You still go after the Detroit Red Wings. And try and get that next goal. Carson unassisted at 12-27. It's 3-2. Now the Wings off the draw. Dallas in his own line ahead. Heiserman along, dump it. Behind the goal it goes. Jeff Brown there. Can't clear it by Fedorov. Brown has it again. Now for Stevens, far side. Up to Lowry, he clears it away. Shot back in by Chase on its offside. At the St. Louis line. Well, in Calgary, the Flames have a 3-1 lead over the Edmonton Oilers. Game in the second period. Reichel, Neuendijk, and Fleury had given Calgary a 3-0 lead, but Tikkanen 
for Edmonton came back to bring him back within two. Pure and Vernon, the goaltenders. We'll watch that game. Now, not much you can do. Garth Butcher really all alone. He's going to handle the puck. He stops and he loses his balance and falls down, and that allows Carson to come in all alone, beating Rando five hole, they call it, right between the legs. Now 7.05 left. The Blues lead 3 2. Here in game seven. The winner meets the North Star starting Thursday. Chase on to Iserman at center for half shot on right wing. He'll drive it in. Riendo missed it. Better off near corner. Bump by Sutter. Buck behind the goal. Four players there. It's kick free to Stevens. Up to Lowry on left wing. Lowry ahead. For Basson too far. And Chevalier will play it ahead on right wing to Mark Hapshai. Brink wide to Iserman. Gets to center. Beats Tomlinson across the line. Knocked away, but Hapshide in front. Eisenman robbed by Riendo at the edge of the goal crease. And Butcher is there for the Blues. Here's Butcher. Back to center ice. Left wing to Tomlinson. Tripped up. Nothing called. And the Red Wings were seen in his own zone. That center ice. Burr is there. Lost it. And Hulk chops it back in. But it's offside. It's 3-2 for the Blues. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Blues 3, Detroit 2. The latest chance by Detroit was from Steve Eiserman. A good pass. He's on the right side. Riendo gets across, though, and makes a great save. 6.04 remain in the third period. Face off in the neutral zone. Blues have a precarious 3-2 lead. Now the Red Wings to center. Miller shoots it in. Merwa back for the Blues, behind the goal. Up to Tomlinson on left wing. That center for Hull, he missed it, but it goes down the ice. No icing here. As the Red Wings skate back, we're seen behind his goal. Up to Burr on left wing at center. Now for Miller into the zone. Shuchuk bumps. Burr a shot blocked, and Oates gets it for the Blues. Here's Oates to center ice with Hull. Oates in on right wing. Oates still has it. Fell down, gets up. Into the corner for Rod Brindamore. Behind the goal. McCrimmon poked it by Hull. Up to Shuchuk on right wing. Clears the center for Miller. And Miller's long drive. Near side. Riendo missed it. Primo kept it in. He's bumped by Butcher. And with five minutes left, Oates clears one to Brindamore. Plays it off the boards to center. Right wing's Carson there. He got that goal unassisted at 12.27 to get the Red Wings back in it. It's still 3-2 Blues. Here come the Blues. Quinn to center ice. Checked. Now Green for Probert. He'll golf it in. And Paul Cavani for the Blues. Off the board. Hit his brother Gino in the back. But the Blues get it. Here's Quinn to center. Quinn shoots it in. Chevalier plays it. Lost it. Gino Cavani centers it. And Quinn missed it. Stevens kept it in. Behind the goal. Brindamore in traffic. Now it comes in front, and Carson knocked it away, and back come the Red Wings. Carson to center. Pass on left wing. Brindamore tipped it back to center. Great checking by the Blues. Now chase on for Detroit. Long dump in behind the net. It goes. Four minutes left in the third. 3-2 to the Blues lead. Here's Basson back to center ice. Drives it in. Chevrolet clears it ahead. And Eisenman for Detroit. That center ice to Fedorov into the blue zone. Fedorov on left wing to the corner. Behind the goal, centers, oh! And Chase on just missed it, and back is Jeff Brown. Has a break on left wing, in the clear, and Dole oh, with a great play! He stopped Brown on a partial breakaway. And Chase on for Detroit. Up to McDougal, or rather, McDougal lost it. Back is Oates for the Blues. In on left wing. Centers it to Hall, tipped away by Burr, and Burr to center ice with Eiserman. 3-10 to go. Eiserman in on left wing. To the near corner. Back on the right point, McCrimmon. A shot right on a save by Riendo. Puck loose behind the goal. Eiserman gets it. Centers it. McCrimmon a shot right on a save by Riendo again. Eiserman centers again. Knocked away by Take over. One action, 2.45 left. The Blues lead 3-2. Red
Red Wings clear it in. Near side, Paul Cavallini. Can't get it out. Blues with like a face-off here. Mirwa behind the goal. Up to Hall on right wing, and he chops it down the ice. A good play by Hall. And icing coming up on the Red Wings. Oh, is it ever tight here in St. Louis in game seven? 3-2 Blues. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. 18,635 cheering their Blues. Vincent Riendo has come up with a couple big saves. The shot from the point. Blues do a good job of taking the crowd out in front, but the rebound goes to the side. And Jeff Brown comes down on the breakaway, but a great job by Bobby Dallas to get the puck first. And that trips up Jeff Brown. A good job by Bobby Dallas. Opportunities at both ends. Who's lead at 3-2. The story, two minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Detroit has outshot the Blues 9-6 this period. Face off in the Blues zone. Blues get the draw. Mahar won it. Stevens gets it to Brindamore. It's center to Mahar. Across the line. Mahar a shot. That's tipped high by Rick Green. Near corner, Gino Cavallini lost it. And the Red Wings clear it near the line. Held in. Brindamore shoots it wide. Zombo behind the Red Wing goal. Here's Zombo. Up to Green at center ice. He'll flip it in. Probert after it near corner. Bump by Stevens. Blues can't clear. Now Stevens behind the Blues goal. Far side to Brindamore. And he gets the puck to center ice. And a great play by Brindamore. A minute 40 left. The Red Wings will think about pulling their goalie. Zombo lost it. Sutter gets it on left wing. A shot. Pass saved by Chevalier. Stevens kept it in. Just shoots it behind the goal. 3-2 the Blues lead. Bassett knocks Zombo down behind the Red Wing goal. And he falls on the puck with a minute 24 left. One twenty-four. that's the story right now. Uh, have you visited the home of the world's largest brewer lately? Anheuser-Busch offers free tours of the brewery, including a visit with the famous Budweiser Clydesdale. For information, call 314-577-2626. Oh, what a story here. Blues trying to be only the eighth team in National Hockey League history to come back from a 3-1 deficit in the best of seven series. 24 remaining. Blues 3, Red Wings 2. Budweiser play of the game. Brett Hall from Animos. Who else? Hall coming down the right side, letting it go top shelf over Shovel Day's stick. Shovel Day goes down, and that's our Budweiser play of the game. What a goal by Hall. He had Racine stick in his chest, and he put one top shelf. 3 2, the Blues lead. 24 to go. The face-off to the right of Chevalier. And the Red Wings would love to get the face-off at the other end. They win the draw. Chase on for Detroit. He comes to center. Shoots it in. There goes Chevalier to the bench. Chase on behind the goal. Centers it. It comes to center. That Red Wing goal is empty. Racine. Got a chase on. Tipped in there. Center goes back. Sutter gave it away. Fetter off near corner. A minute left in the third. Basson bumps him in. The Red Wings have their goalie pulled. Now the Wings steal it behind the goal. Brian Center. Butcher knocked it away. Can't clear it out. Held in. Now Butcher again. Has time. Again can't clear it. Eisenman in front. It's offside though. It did come out. It came outside the line. And the goal will not count. Oh, is that close. Thank goodness for the blue line. Blues had a number of chances to get it out inside that left blue line. And a good call by the linesman right on top of the play. The linesman tonight, Gerard Goche and Ron Finn. Goal is empty in the Detroit zone. Blues lead at 3-2. 40 seconds remaining, and listen to this crowd. Uh, 
Well, give us a chance to tell you about the Blues Cruise with Curtis Joseph, Rick Mahar, Jeff Brown, and John Kelly. It's from July 20th to the 27th, the seven-day cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line stops at St. Martin, St. John, St. Thomas, and NCL Pleasure Island. For more information on the Blues Cruise, call Cardinal Travel at 895-1010 or state 1-800-325-4133. Well, Bruce, it's fair to say the Blues have gotten the brakes on the line calls tonight. Yes, I would say that, although that hall goal in slow motion, I think, you see that it's onside. They get a break here. Eiserman all alone in front. The crowd not hearing the whistle. I don't think many of the players are in the whistle. But Eiserman didn't argue very much. He plays right at the blue line. From our position, we couldn't see if the puck really came out or not. That could be a big call, John Kelly. Lines been right on top of the play. He had a better view than any of us. Well, you can only assume it was out by a good margin. 3-2 the Blues lead. 44 seconds left in the third. And the Red Wings will leave the goalie off. And the face-off at center ice. How big is this face-off? Huge. Red Wings send out Eisenman, Fedorov, Robert, and Miller. Chase on and Racine, the point man. Basson. Tomlinson in center up front. Brown and Stevens on the fence. Now Basson will let center take it. Against Eisenman. 44 seconds left. Will the Blues go on and meet the North Stars here Thursday? Brian Sutter showing a lot of confidence in Davey Tomlinson putting him up there on left wing. Now they get set again. Heiserman gets it back. Racine lost it. Center at center can't find it. Now it's dumped in. Stevens poked it away from Miller. And Scott Stevens there to clear it. Up the boards. And Basson is there. Can't get it out. And Basson knocked down. And a faceoff about 10 feet inside the Blues line. All oh, the Blues had a great chance to clear it there, Bruce. But I think it hit the referee. Referee or one of the Blues players. I'm not sure which. There was a crowd along those left wing boards. 29 seconds on the clock. Sutter had the first opportunity and then Bassett. I think it may have hit Davey Thomason. Bassett does a good job of smothering the puck with two of the Blues players down on the ice. Now it's interesting to watch the coaches match up here. Timeout now being called by Detroit. Well, in the other seventh game, Calgary has a 3-2 lead on Edmonton. That's in the second period, so that one's a long way from being over. This one's a long way from being over. Brian Sutter saying, if you get the puck, don't ice it. Just clear it to center ice or into the zone, but don't ice the puck. That's right. We saw that empty net goal this series in game three now the Blues lead at 3-2 29 seconds remaining this crowd will be up on its feet cheering the Blues the winner of this goes on to meet Minnesota 29 seconds left 3-2 Blues lead in game seven face off 10 feet inside the line Eiserman against Bassett here we go they tie each other up. It's poked by Stevens, not out. Stevens chops it. Basson is there. And he pokes it to center ice. Played back in offside. Nine seconds left. Again, good work by the Blues. Nine seconds to go. If you win the draw here, you just about win. That's right. One face-off, either that or Bob Basson could go forward on it and get it into the zone. They wouldn't call an icing normally off of a face-off. If he can get it down into the Detroit zone, you would think it would be over. You know, Bruce, I thought a lot of time went off that clock. What were there, 24 seconds left? 24 or 29, yeah. 29, and now it's 9. That wasn't 20 seconds. Was, John. Well, well Detroit's arguing it. Look 
got a question for you. I don't know the answer to this. Is the scorekeeper from St. Louis, or is he with the off-ice officials from Minnesota? Well, the scorekeeper, I believe, is from Minnesota. He is from Minnesota. Maybe he wants to play the Blues. Nine seconds on the clock. The Blues have out Garth Butcher, Scott Stevens, Rich Sutter, Bob Basson, Dave Tomlinson. Now Brian Murray talking with referee Terry Gregson. I can't blame him. I'd do anything I could, too, to try and get an edge. You know, in game six in Minnesota, John, the North Stars had a power play, and the front of me, Chicago was going to go on a power play, and Mike Keenan called John Casey's stick to measure it and see if it was illegal. It wasn't, and it nullified the power play. A lot of things coaches try and do to get teams in the game or tie it up. Obviously, Brian Murray trying to do anything he can right now. Well... I thought there were 29 seconds left, and if 20 seconds went off the clock in that last sequence, that was the longest or the shortest 20 seconds I've ever seen. Now Terry Gregson went right into the timekeeper's area to check it out. Now everybody huddled up over by the penalty box. Try and see what's going on. I don't know, Bruce, if we could roll back the tape at regular speed and maybe count down the seconds if we're capable of doing that. 1,001. One, I don't know if we're capable of doing that either. Something's got to get going. Terry Gregson now explaining to Brian Murray. Now he'll go over to Brian Sutter. He's saying something to Brian Sutter. Sutter... I don't know if he likes it or not. Gino Cavallini said something. And Sutter held Gino Cavallini's arm back. Now the goals. Quinn, Hull, and Sutter for the Blues. Carson and Racine for Detroit. Blues had a 1-0 lead. Then it was tied up. And they took a 2-1 and a 3-1 lead. And Carson's goal at 12-27, unassisted. Brought the Red Wings back to within one. We believe there's nine seconds remaining. Crowd, not a person sitting, I don't believe, it's all standing up. Yeah, they're going to put 10 seconds on the board. That's a lot of time. And Scott Stevens arguing with referee Terry Gregson. Now, still, you get the face up, still the same scenario. It's, well, 19 seconds left. 3 2 the Blues lead. Face off at center. The Red Wing goal again is empty. Basson on the draw, lost it. Red Wings chase on to Fedorov. Works in, it's offside. That's the line. Bruce, we were just informed by our producer, Tom McLaughlin, that they ran the tape back at full speed, a regular speed, and only 10 seconds elapsed, or 9 seconds. So, obviously, the clock malfunction going from 20 down to 9. Good job, Tom McLaughlin. A good job by the scorekeeper. Now there's 14 seconds left with another faceoff. At the line. Bassett and Iserman again. Red Wings get it. Racine to Fedorov. In on right wing. Stevens knocked it away. Knocked down. Iserman right point. A shot block. And it's off a leg to center. And this game is over. It's over. The Blues have won. The seventh game, 3 2. And they become over the eighth game to come back from a 3 1 deficit. Thursday night here at the arena, then Saturday at the arena before going on.
on to Minnesota. The Blues will have the home ice advantage the rest of the way through the playoffs. Well, the traditional handshake at center ice. Right. Scott Stevens certainly played a whale of a series. And the Blues make history here in St. Louis. Only the eighth team to come back from a 3-1 hole. And they played a super game. Trying to go back to game five, Kelly Chase. Inserted into the lineup, Dave Tomlinson comes up, has a great game. I still got a question, Brian Murray and his changes for the lineup tonight. Five players scratched from the lineup who were in it the other night. Two players he inserts haven't played in the series. He went with experience on defense, but it didn't pay off. And maybe the goal that turned it around was scored by number 16, Brett Hall, with only 21 seconds left in the second period. That obviously the key goal in the game. I agree with you, John. Now Brett Hull with the big goal. As we look at the Budweiser three stars, the number three star from Detroit, Jimmy Carson, he got him back into it with the breakaway goal, 12-27 of the third. Number two star, Brett Hull. He had his eighth goal of the series. The number one star, Adam Oates, he had two assists as he assisted on Quinn's and Hull's goal. The Budweiser number one star. So the Blues win a seventh game thriller. Three to the final. Now it's on to the Norris Division Finals against the North Stars. And the Blues and their fans are jumping for joy here in St. Louis. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. They're going wild here in St. Louis. The Blues win in the seventh game, 3-2 over the Detroit Red Wings, and now the Blues will meet the Minnesota North Stars. Hi again, everyone. John Kelly alongside is Bruce Affleck, and what a hockey game. The Blues and a nail-biter win 3-2, to two, and uh, they played another tremendous defensive game. Certainly did. You mean you don't, didn't know all along they were going to win here? It was a great game. Uh, you know, that's what you expect from a game 7, 3-2 score tight all the way. Uh, as you say, a nail-biter, and a great job for the fans here in St. Louis, too. And maybe the key goal was Brett Hull's goal, Bruce, late in that second period. That's right. You know, it's tough to give up those late-period goals or early period, and especially to Brett Hull on the breakaway as he comes in the right side. Racine's got his stick under Hull's arm, and he still gets it away and puts it right underneath the crossbar. Shovel Day didn't have a chance. That gave the Blues a 2-1 lead after two Hull's eighth goal of the series. And the winning goal, the eventual winning goal by Rich Sutter. Uh, John, a lot of good things happen here. Number one, Paul Cavallini joins the play. Makes a good play to cut across. Everybody's backing up, so they're going to back up on top of Tim Shevelday. Cavallini will throw it in the net. Lowry's there. Racine is there, another Detroit defenseman, and Sutter will go to the net, pick up the loose puck, and put it past Shevelday. Ends up being the winning goal, a huge goal for Rich Sutter. His second of the series. That made it 3-1, to one, and the Blues win it 3-2. The next game, Thursday... Here against the North Stars, game one of the North Division Finals. And for tickets, call 434-6600. However, as a matter of fact, tickets, I believe, have gone on sale at the arena right now. Yes, they have. Uh, they went on sale directly right after the game. And as you mentioned, you can call dial ticks or the normal outlets. And uh, should be a lot of fun. Series two. Series two against the North Stars. They upset the Hawks in six games. And Bruce, in five of the six wins against Minnesota this year for the Blues, they won five of those games by one goal. So they won the series, but not by a lot. Well, that's right. I think you can obviously say that the series during the year may not mean that much now, obviously, especially the way Minnesota is playing and what they did to Chicago. Well, the North Stars are up next starting Thursday here at the arena in St. Louis. A big celebration tonight as the Blues win 3-2 over the Red Wings in game number seven. Riendo again, the story of the game as he was very sharp in net for St. Louis, but he got a lot of help from his teammates. St. Louis Blues Hockey has been a presentation of Bud Sports through the facilities of KPLR-TV 
and KMOX Radio. The final score here in St. Louis, the Blues 3 and the Red Wings 2 in Game 7. Good night from the arena. Now stay tuned for Cardinal Baseball. It'll be picked up where we left off earlier this evening as the Cardinals play in Montreal. St. Louis Blues Hockey has been brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beer, who reminds you, friends know when to say when. By Southwest Airlines, providing frequent flights and low unrestricted fares to many exciting destinations. By your Midwest GMC truck dealers, Bellman, Bomberito, and Brockland GMC. By your local McDonald's restaurant, always good.